Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Hi there, I'm Aki from Aki Gaming, and welcome to the last episode of My Wife or Husband Though is Better Than Yours for the year 2018. Each episode, we will be putting two heroes into the spotlight and see who reigns supreme over the other. First, they will be judged by all of their attributes, which includes their stats, weapons, skills, etc. Then we will put them into a battle simulator to see who's the better one when head on. Not only that, we will be also giving them their best possible skill build and put them into the ultimate mass battle showdown to see who will be crowned the winner of my wife or husband though is better than yours. Let's not wait any longer and introduce our contestants. Standing on the left corner, the most hated person in the game, the king of Muspel. The ruler of flame, Sata, and standing on the right corner, the cutest being in the game, the young dragon from Nabata Village, the holiday deer, Wei. So here we go, the king of Muspel versus the girl from Nabata, the most hated versus the cutest. Who shall be crowned the best wife or husband, or? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rumble? Round one: stats and skills. Let's start by comparing their stats. And Surtur has the higher HP, attack, and defense, whereas Wei has the higher BST, speed, and resistance. The score is tied at three three. Next, let's compare their weapon. Surtur uses the legendary Sinmara that has a might of sixteen. It grants him an additional three defense, and at the start of turn, deals twenty damage to foes within two spaces. FYI, Simara's effect does stack, so the more Surtur you have in a team, the higher the damage.、Uh, what should I say? Who in the right mind thought it's a good idea to have such ability? Jeez, seriously. What about Wei? She uses the glittering breath that has a might of fourteen. During combat, boosts her defense resistance by the number of allies within two spaces times two. The maximum bonus is plus six of each stats. If foe's range is equal to two, calculate damage using the lower of foe's defense or resistance. Moreover, can be refined to boost her stats. So, who has the better weapon? Even though glittering breath could match Simara in stats after refining. But that twenty points of area damage gave Surtur the edge. Hence, the King of Muspel takes the weapons fight. Now, they're special. Surtur has Bonfire that boosts his damage dealt by fifty percent of his defense with a cooldown of three. As for Wei, she has a three cooldown special called Luna that treats foes' defense resistance as if reduced by fifty percent during combat. By referring to the rating system from Game Eight. Bonfire has a score of nine out of ten, and Luna has also nine. It's a draw. Next, let's look at their passives. In slot A, Surtur has Steady Stance Four. Yeah, you heard it right. Steady Stance Four. If foe initiates combat, grants a defense plus eight during combat. Not only that. It also comes with guard, which prevents foe from gaining special charges. Again, whose idea was this? As for Wei, she has defense resistance bonds that grants her a plus five defense resistance during combat if she's adjacent to an ally. Quite obviously, Surtur has the better A skill. Now, their passive in B, Surtur has Warrior Fighter that prevents foe and himself from making a follow-up attack. If his HP is more than fifty percent, what about Wei? She has Vengeful Fighter. If her HP is more than fifty percent and foe initiates combat, she gets to make Guarantee Fall Up attack, and at the same time, it also grants Special Cooldown Charge plus one per attack. Who has a better B skill? You ask. The Holiday Deer, of course. And Wei scores one back. Last passive C. Surtur has a unique skill called Surtur Manus. At start of turn, if he is within two spaces of a foe, grants an attack speed defense resistance plus four for one turn, and inflicts an attack speed defense resistance minus four on foes within two spaces through their next action. Why? Just why? 
And Wei, on the other hand, has armor march that enables her and an armored ally to move one extra space if they were adjacent at the start of a turn. So who will take the last point? And once again by referring to game 8, certain Manus has a rating of 9.5 out of 10. And armor march is also 9.5. It's another draw. And that's the end to round 1. With a score of 5 against 4, the winner of the first round goes to... Serta! A difference of only one point. The gap is smaller than what I thought. Anyway, let's move on to round 2, Head on Fight. For this segment, I'm going to use the battle simulator from Arctic Silver Fox. First, we are just going to let them brow with their default skills and IV with no buff. Instead of looking at result for only one round, we will look at one full turn instead. And here's the result for one full turn. Serta gets to KO away on both attacking and defending phases, mainly due to that 20 damage of burn. For armor units, to even initiate combat, they have to be at least one space apart, which means Wei would get burn and debuff if she wants to touch Serta, which puts her at a losing end no matter what. Even if Wei has an adjacent ally, she would still lose. Unfortunately, Serta wins the default fight. Next, how about we give them some skill inheritance? As our usual practice, we will optimize their build for the highest winning rate. For Serta, Sinmara, Bonfire, Attack Defense Solo, Worry Fighter, Serta Manus, and Attack Defense Seal. For Wei, Speed Refined Water Breath, Glacis, Distant Counter, Vengeful Fighter, Odd Speed Wave, and an Attack Defense Seal. And the result? Wei still get beaten by the Emperor of Flame. It's actually not easy to beat this guy in one on one if you do not have the weapon advantage or effectiveness against Armored. With that, the skill inheritance fight goes to Serta 2. And by winning both categories, I hereby declare the winner of the second round goes to... The Muspel King! Before we proceed to the final segment, let's look back at the results so far. Serta has two wins while Wei has none. Even though we already know who's gonna win this week, but I'm still hoping for Wei to at least kick that fella behind in the last round. Who will come up on top in the final segment? Let's find out in round 3, Mass Battle. For this segment, we will be using the same damage calculator as round 2 to calculate how effective are they against all the other heroes. And the result will be in the form of percentage. Here's the formula. First, we will calculate the result with their default build. And since Wei uses a bond skill, we will assign an ally to her. Here's the result for one round of initiation. And Serta has a higher winning rate of 91.1 to 51.2. I have a very bad feeling about this. Next, let's have a look at the result for one full turn with attacking phase first. 98.3% with his base kit? Man, what is this madness? Now, defending. Here's the result for one round of defense. The Holiday Deer has the higher winning rate this time with 62.1 to 52.2. Moving on to one turn of defense. And Serta strikes back with a difference of 28%. The halfway score is 3-1. Next, let's look at the result after inheriting skills. Who would have the higher winning rate? For one round of initiation, and Serta extending his lead with 96.3% to 69.6. .6. What about one full turn by initiating first? 0.5% more to perfect score, and only losing once. Any guesses which hero beat him? It's a dragon. What if enemy attack first? How different would the result be? And for one round of defense, Wei finally gets another point by having 3.1% more than Serta. 
Lastly, let's look at the result for one turn of defense. 4% difference with Serta taking the last point. And that is the end to round 3. With a score of 6 to 2, the last round goes to the ruler of flame. And ladies and gentlemen, by winning all 3 rounds, the winner of this episode of My Waifu or Husband Do is better than yours goes to... Serta! Poor Wei. She just couldn't do much against the Muspel King. That Simara and C skill is just too overpowered. Especially in a one-to-one -one situation. Without some sort of support, it's near to impossible to beat him. I'm seriously questioning the decision of the intelligence system making him a playable hero. Hate it or not, having nearly 100% winning rate is quite a feat. Even though Wei might not be as good as Surtur based on the comparison, but she's still a very impressive unit especially while defending first. And most importantly, how can you say no to something so cute? Look at her! Come on, name me another character that could rival her cuteness. So, what's your thought on the result? Who do you think should have been the better waifu or husband though? Let's discuss. By the way, to celebrate Aki Gaming hitting 3000 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway. Click on the link in the description to stand a chance to win a $30 gift card from either iTunes or Play Store. Happy New Year and see you next year.